Welcome, everybody, to my presentation. Let me start by asking you one simple question. Do you remember the pandemic? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in the interest of time, let me skip straight to the answer. And the answer is yes, of course. We all remember how tough it was. But we have one great weapon in our disposal against COVID, and that were the mRNA vaccines. You've been probably hearing this word many, many times, mRNA. It is an incredible technology, but unfortunately, it suffers from one major flaw. These vaccines always need to be kept in the cold, always in a freezer, always in a fridge. And this is a massive issue in the developing world. Millions of doses have been estimated to be wasted, chucked out in the beans, like leftover left on your table in the morning. And imagine how many lives could have been saved if we had a better version of this vaccine. This is what I want to change. And my solution may come from the nice little protein that you see at the center of my screen. That one, ladies and gentlemen, is known as an encapsulin. And if you're wondering what it is, well, simply put, an encapsulin is just a box, a container, something that you can open up put stuff on the inside, and that stuff stays there, protected. And the reason why I also put a volcano in my slide, despite some of the puzzle looks that I see around, is because that gives a very good indication of where you find these proteins, in the most dangerous places on Earth, and also how tough they are. For all intents and purposes, an encapsulin, this type of box is nigh indestructible. It's very, very hard to break them apart. So you probably see where this is going. What if? we were to combine the mRNA with its incredible potential as a vaccine, which put it inside such a strong container, something that could act as a safe to protect this medicine, something that would allow us to create a new generation of vaccines that could be shipped all over the world and provide protection to everybody, regardless of the conditions. This is, and I'm not even joking, why, why, what my entire PhD is all about. In my first year, I focused on making as many as these boxes as I could, like in a factory, bam, bam, bam. In my second and third year, I instead focused on trying to physically put this mRNA inside this box and to make sure that it works. I'm happy to announce here with you that we have a working prototype of this, a working prototype of this vaccine, that now we can move to the final stage, the stage of test, asking questions like, is this going to be a tough vaccine, a vaccine that can survive all sorts of conditions. Is this a vaccine that can be shipped all over the world for everybody? Is this vaccine going to be useful? Is it going to be, provide protection for the people that need it? These are all big questions, and I know it's time is on the, the important matter here, but I'm pretty sure that the answer is going to be yes. Thank you for your time.